Hello dear students today we will see the concept which is singularity function concept so what exactly singularity is a singularity is a point at which function does not possess a derivative that means it is discontinuous singularity function are discontinuous functions or their derivatives are discontinuous so that that's why that is the singularity function in other words a singularity function is discontinuous at its singular points so whenever there are the points where uh, the function possess the discontinuity then it is called as singularity function all the singularity functions are the basic types of signals hence a function that is described by polynomial in time t is thus a singularity function okay a function that is described by polynomial in t is thus a singularity function and what are the different commonly used singularity functions step function ramp function and impulse function we will see one by one unit impulse function unit impulse function is defined as now all the singularity functions you are going to define with some mathematical formula so first is unit impulse function unit impulse function is defined as delta t is equal to 0 when t is not equal to 0 and delta t dt is equal to 1 when t is equal to 0 so remember there are two conditions when time is not equal to 0 its value is 0 and if time is equal to 0 its value is 1 so area of function impulse function is unity an ideal impulse function is a function that is zero everywhere but at origin it is infinitely high so that is given by this equation that when t is not equal to zero all the values are zero and when t is equal to zero all the values are one that means the it is the ideal impulse function whose value is zero everywhere but at origin or at t is equal to zero its va value is infinitely high or we can say it is one however area is impulse in is area of impulse is finite now these are the equations for t uh, for continuous time signal and this is the discrete signal delta n is equal to 1 when n is equal to 0 and delta n is equal to 0 when n is not equal to 0 the same mathematical formula or expression can be shown by this diagram so blue line indicates when delta t is equal to 0 sorry a blue line indicates when t is equal to 0 so that is the value is equal to 1 and rest of the on the rest of the axis the signal is not shown it is that it indicates that when t is equal to 0 sorry t is not equal to 0 then you will get the 0 value so everywhere it is 0 except t is equal to 0 so that is unit impulse function then shifted unit impulse function you have to shift the signal or the impulse by some fixed amount so you can uh, add some time in it or you can subtract the time fixed time from that particular signal so if you are subtracting the time then the whatever signal you will uh, take that will be shifted on the right side and if time is added then it will be shifted on the left side so that you have to remember so this is shifted unit impulse function then next is unit step function the integral of impulse function delta t is given by delta is t is equal to 1 when t is equal to 0 and if t is less than or equal to 0 it is 0 so whenever time is greater than 0 it is always 1 and when time is less than 0 it is 0 so ut is equal to so continuous time unit step function is defined as ut is equal to 1 when t is greater than 0 and it is 0 when t is less than 0 the same thing is given in this diagram when t is greater than 0 the signal is ut is equal to 1 when t is greater than 0 but when t is less than or equal to 0 the signal is on the axis that is it is t is equal to 0 so same thing is there t is greater than 0 the signal is 1 so here t is greater than 0 ka jo region hai so that signal is at 1 and when t is less than 0 all the signals or all the line that indicated uh, that indicated by orange color is on the zero side so that is unit step function 
shifted unit step function if you say u t minus t it will shift to right side and if you say u t plus t it will shift to left side. Then the ramp function, ramp function indicates the signals which are look which looks like the ramp or sloping line that the equation for ram function is r t is equal to t for t is greater than or equal to 0 and if t is less than or equal to 0 it is 0. In the last function what we have seen if t is greater than 0 it is 1 and t is less than 0 it is 0. But in ram function for t is greater than 0 it is t and for t is less than 0 it is 0. So, this is how the shifted ram function is shifted ram function is the left diagram and the so ram function is a signal generated by some electronic signal with additional electronic circuitry it is possible to generate the sawtooth waveform sawtooth that is uh, it looks like the sawtooth such a signal is used in cathode ray oscilloscope in short it is called as CRO as the timing signal. Such signal is used in TV also for horizontal and vertical scanning.